All right. So uh, again, hello everyone for this Friday uh, job gossip session. So as uh, maybe you have already, like, I think there are only like uh, five of us. So um, we can basically like go around and discuss basically any like uh, again uh, maybe there are people who are new so in this session uh, we like to hear from from each of you um, like what is your observation uh, observations dur during your job application so like what kind of jobs were are you seeing in the, are, are there any kind of trends something that's interesting or something that you learned um anything so and from the last session uh, i had with you so there was like uh, this observation for example that uh, there are not a lot of uh, remote completely remote jobs so maybe you can comment on that is what is your experience have has something changed or not um uh, what else uh, also like what kind of can you uh, also mention what kind of platforms you are using for the application so um Okay, let's start. Uh, uh, first, if there are anyone who will volunteer or should, um, maybe I will ask you just uh, like Abrahman and Abu Bakr. Um, Any one of you can open your mic and speak. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Abrahman. Okay, uh, actually, uh, I don't know where to start. Since there is there is no questions, uh, but uh, I will talk about my uh, goal uh, in this time. Uh, currently, I f I focus on finding a role as a data analyst. Also, I prefer on site. Uh, don't prefer remote work. So, uh, I I work on uh, new CV uh, because. Uh, my track is uh, generative AI, and also I refining my uh, uh, project about uh, Teleco. Uh, I think it was week one project. So uh, this is my plan for now. Um, good, very good. Uh, so, have you like um, what are you seeing in the jobs that you are when you are looking for jobs? Uh? Are you finding jobs that are on site as you as you desire, or like um, uh, is there anything uh, like what are the kind of skills that are required um, in the ones that you are looking at? Uh, yeah, uh, this is a good question. Uh, I noticed uh, Google uh, for for the data analyst. I noticed that uh, the Power BI is uh, important. Uh, I think also there is uh, Tableau. I'm not sure of the name. Uh, I don't have experience on both of them. So uh, uh, I also, how I will show this in my portfolio, uh, this is also uh, a challenge for me. So uh, anyone have idea or something can, can, share, with, can share it with me. Okay, so um, you can like, uh, of course, like um, maybe if some of your trainees also, the, of your colleagues can also comment on this, but like um, uh, for PI, PI and, and Tableau, uh, like uh, there are other tools that can do the same um, kind of function, basically. So we are building a dashboard um, more or less. So you have used uh, um, what have you used in the in your training that was similar or did a similar function? Uh, um, yeah, we used Streamlit, but uh, uh, I really didn't see any any job mention it or uh, or it uh, considered like. Uh, something hard for someone in uh, data analyst so they going to to microsoft power bi and this stuff uh, i'm not sure about this part yeah so i think the similar to, tool will be redash um to this uh and uh okay so what you can do 
and this is just a suggestion is that you can go back to the one of the projects that you did is uh, like uh, you where you used the uh, readers to visualize uh, your data and try to use uh, tableau instead uh let me check i think tableau has a free version so you could be like i mean it might sound like a, it's not really complicated you can learn it really quickly so if we, if you are seeing tableau in particular in in like many of the requirements you can just try to to apply it in one of your projects and then basically you can add it to your cv or for that you are going to use for this particular jobs or like um and then highlight this project that you worked on um yeah I think that's like it. This is my suggestion. Um, okay. uh, uh, good, good news for me is that uh, Tableau is uh, easy to learn and will not take uh, will not take time for me. So uh, I will go to it. I mean, uh, yes. So that's um, that applies to many. Like the thing is that uh, once you learn the concepts or like the like. Um, I see when you learn a similar tool that does a similar thing, usually like transferring to a like a different tool is shouldn't be that. I mean, I shouldn't say that just in gen general, but um, because sometimes there are like uh, significant differences. But I would I want to emphasize that during your training in the la in the twelve weeks, you are constantly learning new tools, new concepts, and very quickly. So really, um, don't don't underestimate yourself. You can do this. Uh, you have passed through the training. You can do this. Like uh, you you start uh, you used to start a project on Monday, not maybe not knowing any of the tools or uh, not uh, some of the tools that you don't know at all. And then by the end of the week, you at least uh, started like you had some kind of understanding of how to use them and sometimes you also use them part completely to to get you to your goal so you can you can learn a lot of stuff quickly and so this is something that you can also emphasize so when you apply to jobs you don't have to really know like have used all the tools as, as long as you know what are these tools what are they used for you can apply and basically advocate for yourself that you can pick up um this knowledge quickly uh, if you if they take you so basically um be confident in yourself i think you all have this uh, um, ability okay um thank you abdrahman um let's uh, um so abu bakr joseph michael any of you three can speak up I also shared the the questions we used like to in this session, but like I mean, you can just let us know what has your experience so far um, browsing for jobs. If you can not speak, you can just like uh, write in the chat box. Okay. So I'm what you're saying that is nothing new. Okay. Good. Um thank you, Walker. Um uh, so Giuseppe or Michael, is it the same for you? Like you don't have anything to say? Or Michael is not here actually. So we have Giuseppe. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, so uh so um i've applied uh, to a few uh data data analyst jobs as and uh, as well as a few data engineering jobs um so uh what i'm seeing on my as i apply is that for local cities on some jobs like uh there's a job by uh the recruitment room uh data engineering which is a remote uh the salaries uh, are different if you're a u.s citizen uh you have a higher salary think of around seventy four thousand dollars compared to a uh, citizen uh, maybe in kenya uh, which is thirty four thousand dollars i don't know if this is annually 
Yeah, however, that's that's those are the things that I'm coming on, and also um, a couple of questions in the interviews, uh, not not in the interviews, in the job application processes. Uh, what what interests you about our company, or what interests you about this role? So yeah, that's uh, my review. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, thank you, Joseph. So um, yeah, so uh, like uh, I didn't understand like the your first point. Are you saying like this job had different salaries for someone who is uh, going to be completely remote and someone who's not? Is it uh, is that the distinction? Because if that's if that's the case, that makes sense. That's uh, usually what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, usually what works. Uh, like, uh, yeah, the salary for someone who's, um, who's uh, like uh, is going to be remote completely is different from the person who would be on uh, on site. Um, just like the considerations are different. So, uh, yeah. Oh, no, no. no, that's not what I meant. What I meant is, uh, yeah. So the the particular job was uh, by Signa 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 Group. Uh -huh. uh, which is a global health, global health insurance company. Yeah. So for the US US citizens, uh, for candidates who are US citizens, the salary was higher than candidates who are in the African region. Yeah. It's just by citizens, name. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I thought like it would be by location, not by okay. Um. um all right. Well, uh, that's. Uh... Uh, like a more uh, let me just say suspicious but but it's still still it's uh, as long as as um, i don't know i don't know if you like you're asking a particular question but this is like uh, an observation let's say um i don't really have a comment on that so it will make sense that it will differ salary by location and probably that's also a meant but like um um yes by citizenship this is i don't know okay Thank you, Joseph, for, for your participation. Um, okay, uh, I think uh, uh, so. Michael is saying that he noticed uh, the advanced rag concept, like graph rag, is uh, is a trend now. So, like uh, you saw, you saw that in several. Okay, that's um does any did anyone know else notice this? Yeah, so Bucker is asking, what is that? So Michael, do you have like an answer? Because like, um, um, let's see, let's see. It's looking it up myself because I, I also don't, uh, I can just guess from the name, but like uh, looking it up right now. Uh, so, um, all right, uh, Johanna says this, I also say so this, so, um, so I'm just ba basically like, uh, reading, so maybe I can show you what I'm seeing right now. Um, okay. So, you know, this drag and, um, so say graph rag uses knowledge graphs um, to provide substantial improvement in question and answer performance when reasoning about complex information. So so the, what is what is uh, important is what is knowledge graph here. What are these knowledge graphs? And um, let's see. Okay, so there's no explanation about this this one particular but um 
So, like, basically, it seems like you will have to perform some clustering uh, on the text and uh, yeah, so it's, um, I would say, like, uh, from here, it just kind of some kind of, um, yeah, so this is a question that is good, that is, like, um, um, a good question from a booker. So, like, uh, where we can like um, first of all i'm going to uh, be looking into that completely right now but it seems like just uh, it's an advanced um, uh, technique or improvement on a rag so and see it is a, here's the definition it says that's for question and answer is that is like uh, useful and uh, maybe you can find where like the first right. um Find the paper. Okay, so there is this. There is a possible. You can see like the information about how improved by how much and like what kind of cost is um, is also like tied to that. So okay, but it's a it's a nice um, nice observation from Michael. Um, yeah. So basically, uh, we can all read about this and understand like uh, maybe you can um just get an understanding and basically uh, um we shouldn't be um shouldn't be difficult for you <laughs> basically that's what i want to say um all right Uh, so, people who haven't spoken, uh, Salamouet and Johannes, maybe, uh, do you have anything you want to share? Or, like, um, do you want to, like, um, do you have some observation, uh, the jobs that you have seen? Or, oh, particularly, Johannes, have you tried um, other platforms? You, last time you were asking about this, other platforms to look for jobs and apply. <coughs> No, I'm using uh, LinkedIn and Lip, but uh, I'm trying to change the location. Like uh, yesterday, I was looking at uh, Weller Wide, but uh, my plan for today is maybe to be more specific in European country like Germany or something like that. Yeah, that's good. So, um, yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good approach um, is to go country by country or in particular the countries you are more interested in. So I can say like United uh, States and then UK, um, Germany, whatever. So whatever country you are interested in, you can go country by country. And um, it's also possible. I'm not sure if um, um, you can also like. I don't know if you are. You're not working in groups, are you? Like you're no. You're not divided in groups for this. Yes, I, I need a confirmation about this because um, now. Okay. So it is possible if you are looking at the same kind of roles with some of your other colleagues. I'm just saying, suggesting this, but like um, uh, basically you can tackle, um, like uh, can choose like each one of you will tackle a few countries and then whatever like uh, interesting job you can basically share with each other. That like this is a job. That, so just to, I don't know if this, just to like cut down on the, of the search by time but okay it's just a suggestion you can take it or leave it um yeah so good good you have us um all right uh okay we didn't hear from Tanamoet didn't even comment on the chat yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I actually don't have much answers to the lipstick question. Um, just to share my experience. With, uh, actually, applying for a lot of jobs. I've I've noticed that on Leap, um, that I was getting a lot of data analyst jobs, and when I was going, when I was actually looking at descriptions and the. The job description actually fits 
my skill sets and like I was I, those are the types of jobs that I could actually um actually perform well in. So I was also uh, I took yesterday. I didn't apply to a lot of jobs yesterday. I was just taking time to actually create a different CV that's um, focused on data analysts, data analysts jobs, like targeted at data analyst jobs. And I was focusing on that. And also, since I was you know, I was only focusing on generated AI jobs, uh, I was also just looking at uh, data analyst jobs outside of Leap, since I noticed a lot of matching um, um, with data analyst jobs. So that's what I, what I was doing for me. And um, what else? I didn't notice any particular trends uh, necessarily. Um, some jobs are just too general that I've seen. Uh, I've seen that, uh, that they just asked for the basics of Python and those things. And under responsibilities, they don't really specify exactly what the responsibilities are going to be. Um, and other than that, yes, and I've also noticed, like, uh, especially on LinkedIn, like, uh, we see a job is posted, and then it says posted three hours ago, and it already has like a plus hundred applicants on it. And those things make me want to actually have a really good application material that we've been working on, so just so that it stands out from all of those applications. So that's all I can see. Okay, so very good. Um, hello, Matt. So, uh, uh, okay, so there are the point of um, uh, that, like sometimes the job description matches, while the title maybe might be like uh, can um, throw you off a little bit. But it's a good that you, like uh, you, you notice this and basically like keep in mind like what kind of titles appear with the right of the right kind of job description for you and basically start looking for that so yeah sometimes the roles names uh, are not what you expect but like from the job description it matches so when it matches just apply so yeah sometimes the uh, job descriptions are too generic or like they are not really clear on what is um what are the role or the responsibilities and so in that case uh of course you can just apply or you can and then uh, wait for like um, if you pass um, to a, an interview level um, interview stage you can learn more about the job or you can if you're really interested in the company for example you can basically ask i think if you try to like you can reach out to the the contact person and ask about more information about the job um Okay, um, yeah, and this uh, approach is that when you find there are a lot of applicants, you try to improve your application material to stand out. That's a very, very good approach. Um, so thank you. So, so with this, I think everyone has... Um, I'm sorry? Yeah. I, mean, I, I, just, I, just, yeah. I just remembered I had one question. Uh, like when we apply to jobs, just to stand out, like, um it, it's is it for, for one is it good practice to reach out to the recruiter manager or if there's the person that's the recruiter for a certain job if it's specified is it okay to add, like maybe on LinkedIn text them and then ask for information and if it's okay if you advise that what's a good starting conversation what should we ask from the recruiter or what what should we say to increase our chances of getting you know standing up uh, okay, so uh, what I was uh, saying is that there is a contact person usually with a job description, and this is a person who's like um, basically this is a person you can contact for questions. Like you have any questions about the job, and uh, like uh, you need more information about it or about the role or um, about the application process, you can reach out to this person. Uh, to increase your uh, chances, there are of course um, like um, other options you have besides um, contact person, but this is not for just for information. If you're really interested in the job, and um, like um, you might try to connect with a person that is like uh, like I don't know, works there. So, uh, 
what is the right approach is that you um so on linkedin you can basically um um how to say it how to approach you you have to be like really um I don't want to be careful, but like really like uh, deliberate about wh what, how you, how you do that. So um, it's, uh, but also don't be so afraid to actually do it. So just um, uh, on LinkedIn, you can basically um, send, uh, I don't want to remember the right thing, the right, uh, Yeah, I guess uh, when you like um, when you t connect to a person on LinkedIn, you can like send a note or something like that. And basically, um, if they like uh, reply to you, basically you can like. Um, so uh, this person could be like uh, not 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 the contact person or the HR, but like someone who works there, like. Um, um, in the team uh, that you like uh, interested in joining but like uh, let me just um maybe i will get back to you on how to like what's the best like or okay you can ask this on slack maybe on your like um on your like uh, your channel for career 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 channel career team yeah and then like basically we'll give you the like Probably there are also information about this on the manual, but I'm not really sure. So I will, I will just let, let me stop here, and um, just I want to give you like uh, what are the good steps to follow, not just a generic thing. But in principle, in principle, you can contact people. Um, like the contact person that is listed, you can contact that person with with whatever email or whatever is listed. You can contact them for any information you really need. Um, that is why it's given in the job description. Um, but uh, you can also ha you also have the option of, of trying to reach out and connect with the people who are in the company, like the recruiters or the people who work there and trying to basically get uh, both information or kind of like, um, I wouldn't say um, a recommendation, but it's like, uh, it's uh, it, it might also, this can, can increase your chances of getting a particular job. But how to do this, this is really have to be deliberate about it. So like, I will not, um, I don't want to say, so just basically I'm, I'm asking you to ask on Slack so that you can give you like the team will give you like what is the best way to do this so that you you don't come across as someone who is pestering or someone who's too uh, like um, not polite enough or whatever okay does this make sense Ramon? Or... Would you, would you yes, thank you. okay great so with that i think everyone has spoken so uh anyone who has a final like question or remark or any and the little piece of gossip, as we call this session, that they want to say. I stopped sharing my my tea uh, cup. No. <laughs> okay. Anyone? Uh, okay. Um, if there is nothing, I think uh, we can basically um, end the session. So, thank you everyone for being here, and thank you for your participation. And see you next week. Basically, bye.